All right, viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope by the grace of God you are doing well. Well, we have a question on the board, which is about capacitors that are connected in series. I want us to read and see how possible best we can be able to analyze and solve it. The question says, calculate the value of a capacitor, which when connected in series with another of 30 microfarad, will give a resulting capacitance of 22 microfarad the our question also says, prove your answer. Now, what is the question trying to tell us? The question is telling us there is, there is a capacitor which is connected to 30 microfarad, which is a series that at the end of it all, when you work things out, will get 22 microfarad. As an engineer, what you have to know is that you need that capacitor, the value of that capacitor, so that it can help you to be able to a structure or to be able to design your circuit board. So what do we do? We, took, we take the information out. Let's take the information out first. So this is the diagram. Let's put our data here. So our data, the question is saying that there are two capacitors that are connected in series. So this is the series diagram. So we have our capacitor one, the first capacitor C1 as 30 microfarad and C2 is the value of that capacitor that we don't know. So C2, we don't know the value. And the question is saying that after adding, which is the resultant capacitance, which you know the capacitance is the ability to store electric charge. So what do we do this is the equivalent so the question is saying that at the end when we work things out we are going to get 22 so c equivalent or c total c equivalent the resulting capacitance here means the c equivalent or c total which is 22 22 microfarad so after working these things out we are going to get this equal to equal to what equal to this circuit 22 microfarad all right we have two ways of how to calculate i will use all those two ways and at the end we will arrive at the same answer at the end we'll prove our answer by using the c2 that we get the capacitor 2 with this and check whether we'll get 22 microfarad so we have one over c which is 1 over C total, it is two capacitors, so 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. And let's put the values and we'll see how best we can be able to solve it. So 1 our C total, C total is what, 22, as is in the question, he said, and give a resulting capacitance of 22 microfarad. So 1 over 22 equal to 1 over C1, C1, this is C1, 30, so 30, and C2 is what we don't know. So here, when you get here, we, we, we are looking for C2. So C2 will stand alone, and remember, it's adding to what? 1 over 30, so as you cross the equal sign here, 1 over 22, it's what? It becomes because it's positive here, it becomes minus. So minus 1 over 30. So 1 over C2, let's divide 1 divided by 22 and see what we have. So 1 divided by 22, we have 0 0.04545454545. I think we have to write them all. So let, let me write them here. So 1 divided by 22 is 0. 0 four five four five four five four five four five minus one divided by thirty so let's see one divided by thirty one divided by thirty we have zero point zero three 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 let's subtract this from this and see what we have so zero point zero four five Four five four five four five four five minus zero point 
0333333333. We have zero points. We have to write all this so that it can help us to get the answer. I want the second answer with the first one should be the same. So zero point zero one two one two one two one two one two. Here when you get here, this will be over one. And when you do change of subject, you have C2 equal to you see one is multiplying one. So it's, it has to go at the up there. So this is multiplying this. And as this is multiplying this, we have to know that it has to divide this one. So one, one, we have C2 equal to one divided by all these numbers. 0 0.01212121212, which we have C2 as. So let's see what we have. 1 divided by this will give us 82.5. So our answer is what? 82.5 microwatt farad. Capacitors, capacitor is measured in what? Microfarad. Because they, are give, they have given us this in microfarad, so it has to be in microfarad. All right, so let's use the second way of calculating. Here we use, we use the, we divide by using the dividing method, here we are going to use the least common multiples or the highest common multiples to do it, which is 1 over C, T. I want us to arrive at the same. Some, somebody will divide and someone also will use the least common multiples or the least highest common multiples. So we have 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. So our 1 over C, T is what? Our C, T here is 22 equal to always you have to refer from the diagram because what is in the question is what we retrieve our information and place them in the diagram so 1 over c1 c1 is what 30 c2 is unknown so we are looking for c2 bring the same formula and then 1 over 22 as this 1 over 30 cross the equal sign becomes minus 1 over 30. Now, anytime you are, you are doing um, a calculation and you are trying to use the least common multiples or the highest common multiples and your figures are big, which it will delay you, just multiply the two. And when you multiply the two, then the 22 will go into that figure as 30 and 30 will go into that figure as 22 and it will help you easily to get your answer so that is the best trick so 1 over c2 equal to so the let's multiply 22 by 30 so 22 times 30 will give us 660 so we have 660 here so let's let's do it 22 will go into 660 30 let's do it and see so you can also try 660 divided by 22 we have 30 minus, and then 660 divided by 30 will be 22. Let's do it and see. Check with your calculator as well. So 660 divided by 30, you see we have 22. So here is 22. So now 1 over C2 equal to 30 minus 22 will give us 8 over 660. So our C2, here when you get here, C2 is multiplying 8, and 1 is multiplying 6, 30, meaning that this has to divide this, because C2, when C2 stands alone, it has to go and divide 6, 60. So here, we say C2 is equal to what? 6, 60 divided by 8, which we have our C2. So let's divide it and see. C60 divided by 8, we have... 82.5. You see that we have the same answer. 82.5. We have C2 equal to 82.5 microfarad. So our C2 here is 82.5 microfarad. So this is what the question is saying. As an engineer, now you were able to get the capacitor that when you are building a capacitor, a, a circuit board, you are able to find this 
which has given you the the kind of what ability that can be able to store electric charge which is the capacitance so what do we do i want us to use the product of a sound because it's two capacitors where capacitors are two and they are connected in series then you can use product over sound so now let's use this c times c1 over c1 plus c c1 times c2 over c1 plus c2 let's use that formula and see whether we'll get 22 microfarad to check because the question said we should prove our answer so we have c total is equal to what c1 times c2 over c1 plus c2 which is equal to c1 is 30 and c2 is 82.5 and c1 is 30 c2 is 82.5 let's multiply this and this and see what we have 30 times 82.5 will give us 2000 2475 over so let's add this and this and see 30 plus 82.5 gives us 112.5 let's divide this and see 2475 as you also use your calculator to check divided by 112.5 we have 22. So you see that at the end of it all, our answer is correct. We have 22 microfarad. So follow the steps. And as you follow the steps, you will get what, uh, uh, we will get the answer clearly as the steps indicate. Right. So for now, this is the answer for when a question is given to you in a case like this. Plot it in a diagram form and use the uh, the diagram format or the, the diagram as a procedure to get your answer right please comment below subscribe my video share my videos and like my videos if you want to see my videos just write my name david tete quote into bracket calculation and practice and you'll see more of my video but for now as i used to say sow your today and reap your tomorrow your tomorrow. Bye for now.